Get 30 days Audible free trial with the link in the description. The S-300, NATO reporting name SA-10 Grumble, is a series of initially Soviet and later Russian long-range surface-to-air missile systems produced by NPO Almaz, based on the initial S-300P version. The S-300 system was developed to defend against aircraft and cruise missiles for the Soviet Air Defense Forces. Subsequent variations were developed to intercept ballistic missiles. The S-300 system was first deployed by the Soviet Union in 1979, designed for the air defense of large industrial and administrative facilities, military bases and control of airspace against enemy strike aircraft. The system is fully automated, though manual observation and operation are also possible. Components may be near the central command post, or as distant as 40 kilometers. Each radar provides target designation for the central command post. The command post compares the data received from the targeting radars up to 80 kilometers apart, filtering false targets. The central command post features both active and passive target detection modes. The project managing developer of the S-300 is Almaz Anti. S-300 uses missiles developed by both MKB, FACL, and NPO Novator Design Bureaus, separate government corporations, previously named, OKB-2, and, OKB-8. The S-300 is regarded as one of the most potent anti-aircraft missile systems currently fielded. It is mainly used in Asia and Eastern Europe, including three NATO member countries, Bulgaria, Greece and Slovakia. An evolved version of the S-300 system is the S-400, NATO reporting name SA-21 Growler, which entered service on 28 April 2007. Variations and upgrade serial production started in 1975. The tests have been completed in 1978, P, and 1983, V plus 1987 for anti-ballistic V. Numerous versions have since emerged with different missiles, improved radars, better resistance to countermeasures, longer range and better capability against short-range ballistic missiles or targets flying at very low altitude. There are currently three main variations. S-300 System Family Tree S-300P Land Based S-300P, SA-10. The S-300PT, transliterated from Russian S-300P, NATO reporting name SA-10A Grumble, is the original version of the S-300 system which became operational in 1978. In 1987, over 80 of these sites were active, mainly in the area around Moscow. The P suffix stand for PVO Strani, Country Air Defense System. An S-300 PT unit consists of a 36D6, NATO reporting name Tin Shield, Surveillance Radar, a 30N6, Flap Lid, Fire Control System and 5 P85-1 launch vehicles. The 5P85-1 vehicle is a semi-trailer truck, usually a 76N6, clamshell, low-altitude detection radar is also a part of the unit. The S300PT included the use of a passive electronically scanned array radar and had the ability to engage multiple targets on a single fire control system. Since the original system was semi-mobile, it took over one hour to set it up for firing and the missile hot launch system could scorch the telephone. It was originally intended to use the track via missile, TVM, guidance system. However, the TVM system had problems tracking targets below 500 meters. To improve tracking of low-altitude targets, a command guidance system was added to guide the missile for the initial part of the flight. This allowed the minimum engagement altitude to be set at 25 meters. Improvements to the S-300P resulted in several subversions for both domestic and export markets. The S-300PT-1, SA-10B, and S-300PT-1A, SA-10C, are incremental upgrades of the original S-300PT system using a new 5V 55KD missile in the cold launch method thereafter employed. Time to readiness was reduced to 30 minutes and trajectory optimizations allowed the 5V 55KD to reach a range of 75 km. The S-300PS, S-300PM, Russian S-300PC, S-300PM, NATO reporting name SA-10D, E. Grumble, was introduced in 1985 and is the only version thought to have been fitted with a nuclear warhead. This model saw the introduction of the modern telephone and mobile radar and command post vehicles that were all based on the Mosh 79108x8 truck. This model also featured the new 5V 55R missiles which increased maximum engagement range to 90 km, 56 miles, and introduced a terminal semi-active radar homing SAR, guidance mode. The surveillance radar of these systems was designated 30N6. Also introduced with this version was the distinction between self-propelled and towed TELs. 
the towed telephone is designated 5P85T. Mobile TELs were the 5P85S and 5P85D. The 5P85D was a slave telephone, being controlled by a 5P85S master telephone. The master telephone is identifiable thanks to the large equipment container behind the cabin. In the slave telephone this area is not enclosed and is used for cable or spare tire storage. The next modernization, called the S300 PMU, Russian S-300 PMU, US DOD designation SA-10F Grumble, was introduced in 1992 for the export market and featured the upgraded 5 volts 55U missile which still utilized the intermediate SAR terminal guidance method and smaller warhead of the 5 volts 55 r but increased the engagement envelope to give this missile roughly the same range and altitude capabilities as the newer 48N6 missile, MAX. Range 150 kilometers, 93 miles. The radars were also upgraded, with the surveillance radar for the S-300 PMU being designated 64N6, Big Bird, and the illumination and guidance radar being designated 30N6-1 to in the Grau Index. The total production for the S-300P systems was 3,000 launchers and 28,000 missiles till 2012. S-300 PMU-1 half, SAW-20. The S-300 PMU-1, Russian, S-300 PMU-1, U.S. DOD designation SA-20A, NATO reporting name SA-20 Gargoyle, was also introduced in 1993 with the new and larger 48N6 missiles for the first time in a land-based system and introduced all the same performance improvements from the S-300 PM version including the increased speed, range, TVM guidance and ABM capability. The warhead is slightly smaller than the naval version at 143 kilograms, 315 pounds. This version also saw the introduction of the new and more capable 30N6E tombstone radar. The S300 PMU-1 was introduced in 1993 using different missile types in a single system for the first time. In addition to the 5 volts 55R and 48N6E missiles the S300 PMU-1 can utilize two new missiles, the 9M96E1 and 9M96E2. Both are significantly smaller than the previous missiles at 330 and 420 kg, 730 and 930 pounds, respectively, and carry smaller 24 kg, 53 pounds, warhead. The 9M96E1 has an engagement range of 1 to 40 km, 0.62 minus 25 miles, and the 9M96E2 of 1 to 120 km, 0.62 minus 75 miles. They are still carried 4 per telephone. Rather than just relying on aerodynamic fins for maneuvering, they use a gas dynamic system which allows them to have an excellent probability of kill, PK, despite the much smaller warhead. The PK is estimated at 0.7 against a tactical ballistic missile for either missile. The S-300 PMU-1 typically uses the 83M6E command and control system, although it is also compatible with the older Baikal 1E and Sinesh M1 ECCS command and control systems. The 83M6E system incorporates the 64N6E, Big Bird, surveillance, detection radar. The fire control, illumination and guidance radar used is the 30N6E, 1, optionally matched with a 76N6 low-altitude detection radar and a 96L6E all-altitude detection radar. The 83M6E command and control system can control up to 12 TELs, both the self-propelled 5P85SE vehicle and the 5P85TE towed launchers. Generally support vehicles are also included, such as the 40V6M tow vehicle, intended for lifting of the antenna post. China developed its own version of the S300 PMU-1, called HQ-10. The S300 PMU-2 favorite, Russian, S-300 PMU-2 favorite favorite, DA designation SA-20B, introduced in 1997, presented ready 1996, is an upgrade to the S-300 PMU-1 with range extended once again to 195 kilometers, 121 miles, with the introduction of the 48N6E2 missile. This system is apparently capable against not just short-range ballistic missiles, but now also medium-range ballistic missiles. It uses the 83M6E2 command and control system, consisting of the 54 Kelvin 6E2 command post vehicle and the 64N6E2 surveillance, detection radar. It employs the 30N6E2 fire control, illumination and guidance radar. Like the S300 PMU-1, 12 TELs can be controlled, with any mix of 5P85SE2 self-propelled and 5P85TE2 trailer launchers.
Optionally, it can make use of the 96L6E All Altitude Detection Radar and 76N6 Low Altitude Detection Radar. A version called HQ-15 is currently in Chinese service. S-300FC based S-300F, SAW N6. The S-300F Ford, Russian S-300F Ford, DOD designation SAW N6, F suffix for flot, Russian for fleet, was introduced in 1984 as the original ship-based, naval, version of the S-300P system developed by Altair with the new 5V 55ERM missile with range extended to 7 to 90 km, 4.356 miles, 3.8 to 49 nmi, and maximum target speed up to Mach 4 while engagement altitude was reduced to 25 minus 25,000 meters, 82 to 82,021 feet. The naval version utilizes the top sail or top steer, top pair and 3R41 Volna, top dome, radar and utilizes command guidance with a terminal semi-active radar homing, SAR, mode. Its first installation and sea trials were on a Kara-class cruiser and it is also installed on Slava-class cruisers and Kirov-class battle cruisers. It is stored in 8, Slava, or 12, Kirov, 8 missile rotary launchers below decks. The export version of this system is known as RIF, Russian RIF Reef. The NATO name, found also in colloquial use, is, Grumble. Sea-based S-300 FM, SAW N-20. The S-300 FM Fort M, Russian S-300 FM, DOD designation SAW N-20, is another naval version of the system, installed only on the Kirov-class cruiser Pyotr Veliki, and introduced the new 48N6 missile. It was introduced in 1990 and increased missile speed to approximately Mach 6 for a maximum target engagement speed of up to Mach 8.5, increased the warhead size to 150 kilograms, 330 pounds, and increased the engagement range yet again to 5 to 150 kilometers, 3.1 minus 93 miles, as well as opening the altitude envelope to 10 to 27 kilometers, 6.2-16.8 miles. The